Hello everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things, or Silence Did Good, depending on which channel I am pushing up to at the moment. And we're going to come at you with one more set of 13 things that you learn in context. And this one may see a little, little bit odder, but it's now not going to be laid into the top 13, but it's going to be laid into something that more looks like a clock. And I'm going to try to draft this up on top, realizing until I can reframe things. I'm going to change my pencil a little bit more here. So I'm going to kind of try to see if I can do invisible layer. It cannot be done. So I'm going to go ahead and one more time. Lay out a circle here if we would. And I'm not going to be too seriously concerned about this because now we're going to divide it up into the clock if we would. So we're going to divide it up into the clock by dividing this up into quarters and then dividing these into points here and the reason why we're doing this is to come up and this is the visual construct that is accepted for eons into something called the circle of fifths so where this is basically learning music theory and a lot of music theory that's based on this concept of some number times seven divided by 12 and taken the remainder maps to another number. Now this may seem odd to you, but this is the computer science. This is effectively what's going on in the circle of fifths. And now we're going to go to how you memorize it basically. And that's pretty straightforward in that you do it with fat, cows, get, dizzy, after eating butter, get dizzy after eating butter, but that second are flats. Now, this may seem incredibly straightforward, and in effect it is, but what this visual construct does for you is simply amazing is the only way I can put it and is one of the places where coming upon 13 things you see 12 things but really you eventually go back to C. Anyone who knows anything about Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do and that's basically Do, Do. We all have a natural affinity to kind of be able to hear what an octave is. We also have, it turns out, this natural affinity for Da, 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 Da Da, da. And that is what happens when you go from a C to a C sharp or something called a half step. So how did, this is how in the end you end up memorizing it. And you can memorize that very quickly, but we're going to go back now and explain how you come about and get these numbers. Remember, fat cows get dizzy after eating butter, get dizzy after eating butter with flats. With a C up on top, and you're going to see why here in a second. What we're going to do is we're going to do this mathematics, and we're going to remember the start numbering with basically around the circle with zero at the north end. So we're going to go here, and we're going to put zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we've counted to 12, if you would, and now we're going to multiply each of these by 7. So 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 1 is 7, 14, 21, uh, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, and 77. So I'm going to change colors here because now you're going to have to do a little bit tougher math, and that is divide by 12 and take the remainder. So this remains to be 0. Do an edit undo here. So we're going to divide by 12 and take the remainder. That remains 0. This remains 7. We divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get 2. Divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get 9. And divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get 4. Divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get 11. Divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get 6. 
divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get one. Let's see, divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get one. Divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get 48. You get eight. And divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get three. Divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get, this is getting hard. So three and seven, you get 10. Divide by 12 and take the remainder, you get something like five. Now I might have screwed that up, but now we're gonna see where these mappings go. So what we did is we started counting at zero. So we're gonna see down along the edge here, I'm gonna go with this C, C sharp, D, D sharp, which is E flat, and C sharp is D flat. So don't get confused with that. Uh, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and then to C. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And if you remember, if we start numbering these with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, and then map these numbers back. Remember how we multiply by seven? Took the remainder, you get C is zero. We get G is seven. We get D is two. We get A is nine. And so that, in effect, is mathematically how you get to fat cows get dizzy after eating butter, get dizzy after eating butter with flats. You start counting at zero from C, C sharp. You multiply by seven. You divide by 12 and take the remainder. That's called the modulus function. This is essentially clock math. And in the end, what you see is a pattern that emerges. And I'm gonna see if I can do the regular erase, which I'm not supposed to do here. I'm gonna erase out all this, right? And I'm just gonna go back to the thing that many of you might understand, and that's the key of C. You see the key of C, the major scale is all the white keys. And you'll see there's all kinds of different ways here. And so basically the way, if we're looking at this in terms of a major scale, it looks something like this. And I'm gonna go with that color if I would. This becomes one, let's see. So this is basically now we're going to get rid of the zero numbers. This is, I apologize, this is one. This is four and this is five. And that's all I originally learned about the circle of fifths is that if you looked at something, if it was the key of C, the fourth is F and the fifth is G. So let me erase that out so you can read it a little bit better. Better or worse. So many people, including me, just learned that it's one, four, five. And so if I'm at the D, D, the fourth of the key of D is G and the fifth is A. However, it's much, much, much richer than this. I would put this up with the periodic table. And the way this pattern turns out to is the, to really, where you really get the pattern out of this is you skip. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that gets you the major scale in any key. So in other words, in this case for the key of C, the notes are C, D, E, I apologize, F, G, A, B, and then back to C. The other beautiful thing about this is that when you start to flatten or sharpen, you basically, for any note, you go across and then kink left or kink right. So obviously G flat is you go across and you just, you get the G flat, but G sharp is A flat, which many of you will realize. So there we are, 13 things once again in a little bit of a different format, but we remember from music theory that fat cows get dizzy after eating butter, get dizzy after eating butter, with flats on the second run through. If in course you are a jazz musician at Northern Illinois University, you learn fat cats get 
drunk at Elgin bars and around the world you'll have different mnemonics but the concept of this as one of the kind of the cornerstones of Western music is clear and it is as clear as the periodic table thanks for listening <laughs>